We have a bonus episode of Rising Star Music at home this week. So um, the main reason why I'm doing this episode is for our third graders who very soon will be in fourth grade. Um, from this point onward, there's going to be a lot of learning how to read notes on the treble clef staff. And I usually get my students started with this in third grade, but given everything that's happened, um, we haven't really gotten to do a whole lot of that. Um, I did get started on this a little bit in the winter, so this might be review for a lot of you. Actually, it's going to be review for all of you. Um, but I think now would be a really good time to just kind of do a base, a little basic introduction to the staff. So here we go. So when we read music, we read on what's called a staff. A staff looks like this, and it's simply five lines and four spaces. Now there's a few different clefs that we use in music depending on the type of instrument that you're using, um, how low the pitch is and things like that. Um, there's, there's bass clef, there's alto clef, there's tenor clef, but the most common one is the treble clef. So we're gonna be taking a look at that. So a treble clef looks like this and it goes at the beginning of the staff. So our treble clef tells us the names of these lines and spaces. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our spaces. So to show you the spaces, I'm going to use red. And so our spaces, we think of the word face. So we have F, A, C, E. And so whenever we read a staff, we read from bottom to top, and this says bass. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'll keep this here, and I'm going to write a note on my little staff. So let's see. Here, There we go. So to read this note, we think of our word face. We start from the bottom and we go up. So we go F, A. Now, because this is not going any higher, we can just stop there and we call that A. Well, let's try another. So we count up F, A, C, E. And since we don't go any higher, we call that all right, let's do another. I know that they sell these whiteboards out there that already have the staff put on them. I could really use one. It'd be super helpful. But whatever. Do what we can, right? All right, so looking at that one, we count up F, A, C. And last but not least, we have F. So just like when you're reading a book, we read from left to right. So for example, if you see two notes that look like, if you see something that looks like this, you're going to read from left to right. And so we would read that as F, A, C. So those notes are F and C. All right, let's look at this one. Let's count up. F, A, C, E, F, A. Now with this one, we count up F, A, C. Now, if this is on the same space, 
it's the same note. So we put C. So these are both C. All right, so that is how we read our face. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to read the five lines. So the four spaces are pretty easy because it spells out a word, face. The five lines, well, we have different ways of remembering that one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write out the notes that we have. So we start from the bottom and we write E, G, B, D, F. So just like with our spaces, we read from bottom to top. E, G, B, D, F. And I'm going to write out a little saying that I learned when I was your age to remember those notes. So this is just the one that I used growing up. If you have others that you can think of or ones that you want to make up on your own to remember them, that's totally fine. So we have every good boy does fine. So starting from here, every good boy does fine. Now let's look at our little staff and let's practice. So I'm going to start with this note here. So let's remember our every good boy does fine. And we know that that is E. So remember, since we're not going any higher, we stop there. All right, let's do another one. Let's count up. Every good boy. So we don't go any higher. Boy starts with B. All right, and another. Let's count up. Every good boy does fine. So we would say that that is F. Now, just like with our spaces, we read from left to right. So we have F, every good boy does. All right, let's do another. Every good, every good boy. All right, one more. E, every. Now, this is on the same line, so we know that, that is E. All right. Now, here's something really interesting that happens here. So I kept, I kept my five lines. Now, here's what we do when we put our four spaces for face back. See if you can notice a pattern here. So we read up, we go, we're going to go line, space, line, space, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, 
E, F. So this is a basic review of reading our lines and spaces on the treble clef staff. Um, if you are watching this on Seesaw and you're in third grade, um, I'm going to be assigning a little game activity to practice reading the notes on the staff. Um, I strongly suggest that you start on the beginner mode. Make sure you have it set on treble clef. And I'm looking forward to seeing your scores here in a little bit. So you can always go back and review this video if you need to. That's why it's here. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.